Good morning, good morning, OTF Williamsburg. It is Thursday, May 7th, and I'm Coach Ryan. I'll be leading you through today's live at home OTF workout. Okay, if you're just tuning in, watch this later, or coming in live, you'll need a couple things for today's workout. You will need something that you can step on, okay? So I have a bench here, so this could be steps. This could be a sturdy toolbox. Just something that you'll be able to step and do step ups on. Okay, you'll need that. If you can sit on that same item, use it. If you got a chair, grab a chair. And then you'll also need a mini band if you have it and a medium sized plate. Okay, so we're going to respect, I always say respect the mini band. We're going to respect it today. All right, so again, something that you can step on that you'll need something you can step on. Like I said, this can be steps around your house, a sturdy toolbox, something that'll support your weight that you can step on, a chair, minivan, and a medium-sized weight or object. If you're using a dumbbell, probably in that 10 to 12 pound range, okay? If you don't have a minivan, that's okay. You can use that medium-sized object or weight for that minivan block and you'll get a similar burn. So, good morning, good morning. If you are tuning in live, we got a good one for you. They're always good, but we really got some extra sauce for you today for today's workout. If you're viewing this later in the day on Facebook or YouTube, we'll probably get started with the dynamic warm up about the four minute 431. Okay? Okay, check me out. Like I'm wearing blue here today. All right, I feel great. I'm not feeling blue. But I want to wear blue, so you know, check me out. I want you to just admire the style of Coach Ryan for a second. Okay, it's not always about working out, it's not always about you. Sometimes we just gotta admire Coach real quick. Okay? So you're you're welcome. Coach is looking good. Alright? I always try to look good for you all. Alright? You know, you don't just get a workout, you get entertainment. Okay, you get, you know, eye candy. So there, there you go. We'll get started, team, in a few minutes, all right? Lovely day outside, okay? Get excited, get pumped up. We might have some things coming soon at you, all right, in terms of reopening. So keep your eyes and ears open, team, all right? We're getting closer and closer to the point to where we can see you all in this studio again. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Stay tuned. A couple more minutes and then we'll go ahead and get started. What do we got? What do we got here? There you go. Yeah, Jill, you see you see the blue, right? All right, again, let's admire Coach Ryan here. We got the blue. Like I said, I'm not feeling blue, I'm feeling great. All right, but I said, man, Coach Ryan looks good in blue. That's what I said to myself this morning. So I decided to wear blue. You're, you're welcome. There you go. Again, if you're watching this live, getting ready, what you'll need for today, okay? So I'll go through it again. What you'll need, something that you can step on, okay? So this could be a bench. This could be steps around your house. This could be a sturdy toolbox, something that you can step upon, all right? You'll need that. A chair to sit on. Now, if you have a bench, toolbox, whatever, if you want to use that, to sit on as well, do it, all right? Grab a chair if you have it. And also, we're gonna respect this guy right here, the minivan. So if you have the minivans, grab them. If you don't, that is okay. You will also need a medium weight or object. That medium weight or object should be around that 10 to 12 pound-ish mark. Um, if you don't have minivans, you can use that medium weight or object for that minivan block to get a similar mark. We're gonna get started in a little bit, team. Can't wait. Especially for the last walk. Can't wait, team. All right, I got new to my watch. 
So good afternoon now, team. Again, it is Thursday, May 7th. I'm Coach Ryan. I'll be leading you through today's at-home OTF workout. The focus will be lower body, all right? Lower body for today's workout. All right, we got four blocks of work, and as always, we'll have a dynamic warm up to start and a flexibility block at the end. Okay, we are going to start team with a six minute dynamic warm up. We got three exercises that we're going to go through for two rounds of it a piece. Your first exercise, grab that bench, stool, steps, whatever that you can step on. We're going to do step ups for 30 seconds each leg, stepping up nice and tall to that bench, tool, steps, or whatever. Stay on one leg, so all one side for 30 seconds, and then halfway, we'll switch sides. Your next exercise, standing knee lift to extension. Now here you want to stand, set position, shoulders down and back, navel in toward the spine, hips and glutes tight, keep your eyes fixated on one point that's ahead of you. We're going to drive one leg up, pull it up toward the chest, and then slowly straighten it out and extend it behind you, all right? 30 seconds each leg. When it comes to balance, speed is not your friend, so keep your eyes on one point, all right? And then slow it down. If you need to, you can hang on to something with the other hand. And then finally, for the last minute, butt kicks. Nice, quick, dynamic option. You can take out that dynamic portion, but still try to bring those heels toward your butt to kick your butt like the name says, all right? And we're gonna go through those three extra exercises for two rounds totaling six minutes. Let's grab that bench, stool, step to whatever. Remember, 30 seconds each leg. 30 seconds all on one leg, 30 seconds on the other. Three, two, and let's roll. So remember, stay all on one leg. Plank your heel on that step, stool, whatever you got to stand. Not rushing here, but you're waking those legs up, and we're also starting to get blood flow going to the body and starting to get that heart rate up a little bit. In three, two, and let's switch legs. Here we go. Exhale. As you step up, 15 seconds. your own pace here. All right, knee lift to extension in three, two, and one. So set position, slow and control. Hug the knee in and extend. Hug, extend. Take your time. Hug, extend. Hug, extend. Hug, extend. Hug, Extend, hug, extend. In three, two, let's switch legs. Hug, extend, hug, extend. You can go at your own pace, hug, extend. I'm just giving you a sample, hug, extend. Tempo, hug, extend. Remember, eyes on one point, hug, extend. Take your time, hug, extend. Hug, extend, hug, extend, right to butt kicks. One minute. Now this is a little bit more dynamic here. Remember, bring those heels in, trying to kick your own butt. All right, I'm gonna kick your butt for this workout. You try to kick your butt right here. Okay, remember option? You can slow it down a little bit, okay? Here we go. Good afternoon, team. I hope you're ready, okay? I looked at this workout, and I was like, yes. That's what I said when I looked at this workout. Yes, okay? So get ready. Get those heart rates up here. We got about 15 seconds, and then we're gonna go back to the step up. We're gonna go through the three movements one more round before we head, get, home, get started with block number one. In three, two, let's step it on up. Remember, 30 seconds, stay 
on the same leg. So step up with the same leg for these first 30 seconds. Remember, exhale as you drive up through the heel. And three, two, let's switch legs. Here we go, team. Go at your own pace. Nice and controlled here. 15 seconds. Stand tall. Exhale up. Knee lift for extension in three, two, and one. So remember, hug, extend. Hug, stay tall, extend. Squeeze the glutes and hamstrings. Hug, extend. Hug, extend. Remember, option? Hold on to something with the other hand if you need it. Hug, extend. Hug, extend. Hug, extend. In three, two, let's switch legs. Hug, extend. Hug, extend. When you extend, you're not going back very far here, team. Okay, just extend behind your body just so that you can get a good squeeze of the glutes and hamstrings with that extension. You're extending your hip. Glutes and hamstrings are the prime movers for hip extension. In three, two, last round, butt kicks. Kick your butt here. There we go. This workout team, you're welcome in advance, okay? So if you're looking, coach, hey, I really want to work my legs. I'm going to get some cardio, get some splats. I want to respect the minivan today. You're welcome, all right? I got it all for you right here today. We got 30 seconds, team. Here we go. Start to connect to the muscles, team. Get excited. Get pumped up for the work. 15 seconds. Here we go, team. In three, two, time. All right. That was our dynamic warm up. I'll move this out of the way. I don't need anymore. Okay. Block number one. Remember, we got four blocks of work today. Focus will be lower body and some cardio. Block number one, we're going to use the minivan. We're going to respect the minivan. Now, the mid pan position is right below the knee joint. So have a seat on your chair that you should have handy or your step stool, toolbox, whatever. Carefully place the minivan right below the knee joint. That's your mid-band position for these three movements, okay? We're gonna start with squat to alternating leg lift for 12 total. Start that set position, shoulders back, nail in toward the spine, hips and glutes tight, feet hip width apart, weight back in the heels as you squat. When you come up, gently bring one leg out to the side, straighten it out. Another squat, and then switch legs, okay? 12 total, six each side. Option, you can reduce the range of motion or you can lighten that band if you have lighter bands available to you. Monster walk for six, make sure you have some room. Okay, we're gonna stay low in a squat and we're gonna step diagonally for four steps. So one, two, three, four, di diagonal step, and then back for one, two, three, Four. Four steps out, four steps back. That's one rep. We're going to do six as an option. Again, lighten that band. If you don't have a mini band available to you, grab that medium object or weight that you have, and you can do those first two exercises holding it at the chest goblet style. Finally, forearm plank to leg lift for 12 total. Keep the mini band on. We're going to get into a nice forearm plank, hands apart, hands and shoulders, our hands and elbows under the shoulders. Butt down, tension on the band, feet hip width apart, so in control, drive one leg up and back down, switch sides two. Small range of motion here. You don't want to lose your anchor in the shoulder, hips, and spine. 
So this is a small lift, okay? Option, it can be from the knees, okay? A small lift goes a long way, team, all right? Let's get set. Get those mini bands on if you have them, if you don't have them on already. We're gonna start squat with alternating leg lift, team. All right, 12 total. Now, you can try to stay with my pace if you want. Remember, I like to tempo these reps, okay? Not rushing through the reps to make those muscles work harder, okay? We take off, team. Three, two, and one. Let's roll. Squat down, lift for one. Squat, lift, squat, lift. Three, squat, lift. Four, squat, lift. Five, squat, lift. Six, squat, small lift. Lift seven, squat, lift eight. Small range of motion goes a long way. Nine, squat, lift 10. Two more, squat, lift, squat, lift. I don't want to lift my leg up too high because I start to lose balance and lose my shoulders and my spine there. Small range of motion. Okay, monster walk. Remember, set position, bottom of the squat. We're going to step diagonally for one, two, three, four, and back for one, two, three, four, that's one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, that's two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, three, switch your lead legs every rep, one, two, three, four, one, Two, three, four, that's four. Two more. One, two, three, four. Stay low. One, two, three, four, five. One more. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hello. Pose, side booty muscles getting fired up. All right, let's get into that forearm plank. Okay, remember, tension of the band if you got hit with the part. This is a small lift. Up, down for one. Up, down two. Up, down three. Up, down four. Up, down five. Up, down six. Halfway. Up, down seven. Up, down eight. Up, down nine. Up, down ten. Two more. Up, down eleven. Up, down at twelve. Hey oh, there we go. Let's get it up. We're approaching halfway through the block. We're gonna try to get through one more round here. Squat the leg lift. Remember, set position, keep tension on the band. Let's squat, lift for one. Squat, lift two. Squat, lift three. Squat, lift four. Squat, lift five. Squat, lift six. Small range, squat. Lift seven. Squat, control. Lift eight. Squat. Control the lift, control down. Squat, lift, two more. Squat, lift for one. Squat, lift for two. Side booty muscles, here we go. Monster walk. Remember, I want you to switch your lead legs every rep. Here we go. Hold the bottom of that squat, stay low. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's one, one, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four. That's two. I challenge you to get lower here. One, two, three, four. Stay low. Two, three, four. Three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two more. Can you get a little bit lower and stay there? Shoulders back. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, yes, one more, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, hello, hello side booty muscles, here we go, into that forearm plank, all right, anchors, shoulders back, hips and glutes tight, nailing toward the spine, let's lift up, down for one, up, switch legs, down, two, up, down three, up, down four, up, down five, 
up, remember, not too high, six, up, down, seven, up, down, eight, up, down, nine, up, down, 10, two more, up, down, 11, up, down, 12. We got about 20 seconds. Let's get the set position, squat, lift, small range of motion. 15, we're just gonna go for the 15 seconds. Small range keeps your anchors and it keeps your balance, okay? In three, two, and time. Hello, five minutes, waking up those side booty muscles. You can take that minivan off. Again, the benefits of the minivan, whether we work them on the upper body or the lower body, it helps to work the smaller stabilizer muscles or whatever joint we're targeting to make us better in our workouts and in our posture and our daily activities team, okay? Now, we got five minutes of mini band. Now, we got five minutes of cardio. We got one exercise for five rounds, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, five minutes, okay? Your exercise is the side-to-side -side shuffle. So, what you may wanna do is you may wanna mark your ends with two objects. You don't have to weigh them. They can be two different objects. I have two objects which tell me my target every rep. I'm gonna start on one side, I'm gonna shuffle to one side, touch the floor, and back. When I touch, I try to squat down, team. Keep my weight back, chest up, shoulders back, okay? This should be a push, uncomfortable type of effort with good form. When you shuffle, try to pretend you kind of have a minivan on, but you don't want to bring your feet all the way together as you shuffle. Again, five rounds, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. I'll give you all a second to mark off your area. This doesn't have to be a big area, team. I'm trying to stay within my shot, so my area is probably about the size of two studio max. That's my area that I'm shuffling from side to side. All right, 45 seconds work, 15 seconds rest. Round one, three, two, and one, let's roll. So here you go at your own pace, okay? When you shuffle to the side, touch that floor. Squat down when you touch the floor. Weight back, chest up. Again, the area doesn't have to be that big, team. Release that inner athlete here with this drill. 15 seconds. Breathe as you hear me breathe the team. Three, two, time. 15 seconds. You know my rule if you've been with me. The recoveries, stay up tall. Deep breaths into the nose, out the mouth. Next round, team. Three, two, one. So as you shuffle, try to stay low in that squat. You know the ISO squat lateral walk with the minivan? Pretend this is this. Pretend you got a minivan on and you're doing that lateral ISO squat shuffle here. By doing that, not only do you get the cardio, you start to feel it on the side of your butt, the lateral part of the legs. 15 seconds. Three, oh, oh, you got five more seconds. Now three, two, time. Here we go, I don't wanna teach you any time. Okay, two rounds down. Deep breaths, stay tall. Remember, pretend this is an ISO squat lateral walk with the minivan. Three, two, and one. You're just doing it quickly. Okay, keep soft bending in the knee. You don't have to go down to the floor. Just keep that side to side. If you're in that ISO squat, and you pretend you got a minivan on, again, your feet don't come all the way together. We're about halfway. Fifteen. Come on, you got this. Push through. Yes, come on, come on. Twenty. 
In three, two, time. Stay up. Deep breaths. Chest tall. Try to fight that urge to hunch over. Stay up tall. Yes, you can, team. Here we go. Two more rounds. Three, two. Next round. There we go. You may think that you don't have an inner athlete in you. Everybody does, team. We do drills like this, not just for cardio and to target the muscles, but we want to work on coordination and agility. That helps us in our workouts and our daily activities as well. You're training for life, team. You may not be training for a sport, but you're training for life. 15 seconds or five seconds. Three, two, one. Stay up. One more round. Through the nose. Out through the mouth. Last round. Let's work. Last round, best round. Three, two, one. Think about kids, grandkids. When you play with them, when they want to play games, hide and seek, tag, something like that. Or if you're working, something jumps out in front of you or something falls and you have to make a quick change of position or direction, stuff like this helps you change for that. 15 seconds. Come on. So this is useful to you even if you don't play sports. Three, two, one, team. Awesome job. Five minutes, stay up. In through the nose, out through the mouth. There we go. Fist pump, high five to your team. Awesome job with that block, okay? Now, we're gonna keep our focus on the lower body, but we're gonna slow it down a little bit. A little resistance training here. A little strength and endurance in this block, okay? Four exercises. We're here for 12 minutes, team. 12 minutes, four exercises. We're gonna rotate through until time is called. First, single leg deadlift. So now, what you wanna do is grab your medium object or weight, okay? So hold it on one side, set your anchors, shoulders, Navel it towards the spine. Hips and glutes tight. Feet hips apart. Set your anchors first. The side that holds the dumbbell, that's the side leg that you lift behind you, and then slowly lower the dumbbell toward the opposite side. Foot. Keep your back flat. Shoulder blades pulled back. Keep your eyes fixed on one point. Take your time. Speed is not your friend. Option. Take it to body weight. Reduce the range of motion. If you're really having trouble bouncing, okay, take it two leg, deadly, okay? Sumo squat to oblique crunch for 20 total. Legs wide, toes pointing forward. Bob the squat, way back in the heels, hands at the chest, and then we're gonna crunch elbow toward the knee for one, switch sides, two. Option, we can come out of that squat slightly, reduce the range of motion. Next, single leg, sit to stand. Grab your chair, stool, bench, or whatever you have, okay? One leg is extended, heel on the floor. Other foot is planted near the seat. Shoulders down and back, okay? Navel and towards the spine. Try to drive through the heel of that front planted leg to stand out of that chair and back down. As an option, okay, you can take it to lunges, static lunges for 10 each side. And then finally, speaking of lunges, we have walking lunges for 20 total. Now, your space may be limited. I don't have a lot of space, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take about three forward lunges, okay, switching legs once I get out of the shot, and then I'm gonna switch and go back. So I'm gonna take about three lunges forward and then three lunges the other leg, okay? You might have bigger space, you may be able to take more steps. If your space is really limited, you can stay in a fixed position alternating forward or reverse lunges. Again, when you lunge, lunge position, 
shoulders out of the back, shoulders over hips, knees over ankles, keeping that chest tall, eyes full. Okay? We're gonna run through those four for 12 minutes. We're gonna get started, single leg deadlift. Remember, grab that object or weight. Okay? Remember, the side that holds the object. That's the side leg that goes back. Remember what I talked about balance. Eyes on one point, and then take your time. Speed is not your friend. You can stay with me. I'm going to tempo these reps. Here we go, team. In three, two, and one. Let's roll, okay? Down, and up for one. Down, up two. Down, up three. Down, bring that back leg up, and up for four. Down, up for five. Down, that helps to count balance the rate that's out in front of you. Up, six, down, up, seven, down. Shoulders back, up for eight, down. Up for nine, down, and up for 10. Let's switch sides, there we go. Three, two, one, down, and up for one, down, and up, two, down, up for three, down, and up for four, down, take your time, up for five, down, keep that dumbbell close to the leg, up, six, down, up for seven, down, up for eight, two more, down, up for nine, down, up for 10. Okay, object to the side, legs wide, toes forward. Let's hold the bottom of that sumo squat, hands at the chest. Let's crunch for one. Switch sides, two, elbow to knee, three, four, five, six. Reset in the middle, seven, eight, reset, nine, reset, 10, reset, halfway, 11. 12, stay low, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, here we go. Let's grab that chair, okay? Remember, one leg is extended, slightly bent, heel on the floor, other leg planted in front of the chair, shoulders back, they went towards the spine. Let's drive up. Down for one, up, down, two, up, control, down, three, up, down, four, up, down, five, up, down, six, up, exhale, up, down, seven, up, down, eight, up, down, nine, one more, up, down for 10, let's switch. Now remember, you can do static lunges here. Control your body down. Don't just slam down to the seat. Control your body, control the rep. Here we go, let's go up. And down for one, up. Down, two, up. Down, three, up. Down, four, up, try to focus. Down for five, up, on pushing on that leg that's closest to the chair. Down, six, up, driving to the heel. Down, seven, up. Down, eight, up. Down, nine, up. Down for 10, here we go. Walking lunges, remember, you may not have a lot of space. I'm gonna take about three reps and then I switch directions. Okay, here we go. For one, we're going for 20, two, three, okay, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Keep those anchors. Fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, two more, 19, and 20. Ho! Oh, shake it out a little bit, team. That was round one. Now, the reason why we do 
these single sided movements that helps to work in balances between the sides and again, it also helps to get us better when we go to bilateral squats, deadlifts, etc. Okay? Single leg deadlift. Okay, if you need to, take a second. I'm going to go right into that next round. Here we go. Let's go down. Up. One. Down. Take your time. Up. Two. Down. Up. Three. Down. Try not to round your shoulders. Back flat. Up for four. Down. Up for five. Down. Up. Six. Down. Up, seven, down. Up, eight, two more, come on, down. Up, nine, down. Up for 10, let's switch, okay? Remember, take your time. Speed is not your friend. Keep your eyes on one point, down. Up for one, down. When your eyes start to move, up, two, down. Your body gets thrown off. Up for three. Down. So keep your eyes on one point all throughout. Up for four. Down. Up for five. Down. Up. Six. Down. Up. Seven. Down. Up. Eight. Down. Two more. Fight. Up. Nine. One more. Down. Up. Ten. Here we go. All right. Sumo squat, oblique crunch, legs wide, toes pointed forward. Your goal here, stay low and reset in the middle. Take a second to pause after each rep. Let's crunch for one, reset, two, three, stop, four, stop, five, stop, six, seven, eight, there we go, come on, nine, 10, halfway, 11, 12, elbow toward the knee. 13, stay low. 14, stop. 15, stop. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Not only can we get that leg burn, we start to get it right in those obliques. All right, sit to stand. You have about five more minutes in this block. Okay, one leg slightly out. Bent, one leg close to that seat. Now, set your shoulders back, nail it towards the spine. Now you're ready to go up and down. One, up, down, two, up, control down, three, up. Don't just slam down, down for four, up, down for five, up, down, six, up, down, seven, up, down, eight, two more, up, down, nine, one more, up, down for 10. Let's switch. You don't want to slam your body down. You want to control. Your muscles are working both going up and going down. That's why you want to control. Let's switch sides going up, down for one, up, down, two, up, down, three, up, down, four, up, down, five, halfway, come on, up, fight that burn, down for six, up, down for seven, up, down, eight, up, down, nine, up, down for 10, beautiful. All right, let's make our way to the walking lunges. Okay, again, I'm gonna take about three steps and then switch sides, let's go. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Set those anchors. Nine, ten, halfway. Eleven, twelve. Don't slam your knee to the floor. Thirteen, control. Fourteen, fifteen. You can reduce the range of motion as an option. 16, like I am. 17, here you go. 18, 19, one more. 20, hell. Shake it out a little bit. We got a little less than three minutes. I'm gonna go right to that next round. 
to see how much we can get through. Take a second if you need it, okay? You go at your pace, I'm gonna roll right to the next round. In three, two, and one. Single leg deadlift. Control down, and up. Down, up, two, down. Take your time, control up. Three, down, up for four, down, up for five, down. You can also reduce the range of motion here. Up, six, if you're having trouble, down. Like so. Up for seven. Down. Up. Eight. Two more. Down. Up for nine. One more. Down. And up for ten. Here we go. Let's switch sides again. Set the anchors, shoulders, navel, hips. Now we're ready. Down. Up. One. Down. Up. Two. Down. Up. Three. Down, up, four, down, up for five, down, halfway, come on, up, six, really get the back of the legs here, down, up, seven, down, up, eight, two more, down, up for nine, down, and up to ten, here we go. That really hits the back of the legs, a little lower back, but really the back of the legs here. Hamstrings and glutes. Legs wide, toes point forward, sink low. I challenge you here, can you get a little bit lower in the squat this round? Set the anchors, let's crunch for one. Stop, two, stop, three, four, five, six, seven, there we go. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, here we go, 15, stop, 16, stop, 17, stop, 18, here we go, 19, and 20. All right, we have about 18 seconds on the clock. I'm going to skip the sit to stand just for sake of being even. I'm going to go right to those walking lunges here for about 10 more seconds. I'm just getting through as much work as I can to keep it even. In three, two, and one. That was block number three, team. Awesome job. Lower body, hit the quads and the back of the legs. And again, single-sided, unilateral movements. They help to work the imbalances of the body and it help you get better on the larger bilateral movements, team. All right, here you go. You're thinking, Coach Ryan, that's it? That's all you got? Oh no, I got 10 minutes of cardio coming at you to end this workout, okay? So what you'll have is you'll have seven exercises. They'll be done for 30 seconds a piece. So think of it as a push, base, push, base. We're gonna go from higher impact to lower impact, higher intensity, lower intensity, push, base, push, base with an all out exercise at the end. First push, jump squats. Set your anchors, set position, way back in the heels, explode up, soft landing right to the next rep option, calf raise instead of the jump. That's our push. Our next base, we just jog in place for 30 seconds. Our next push, alternating pop squat, okay? You squat in the middle, and then you explode 90 degrees to one side, and we alternate. Option, just turn to the side. That rotation, when you explode up, starts from the hips, okay? Our next base is jumping jacks. So this isn't a high intensity jumping jack option. One leg at a time. We're just moving here in good form to catch our breath. Our next push, speed skaters, okay? Focus stability. We're gonna drive laterally off of one leg, okay? Small range of motion here, okay? Notice how in the shot option, step, knee drive. Your next base is alternating reverse lunges. So we're staying in place, and instead of stepping forward as the previous block, we're stepping backward. And then an all out to end that set, high knees. All out intensity, best effort. Option, higher knee raise in place. And then we'll rest for 30 seconds in between rounds one and two, and two and three. Three rounds, 10 minutes, we're gonna finish this strong, team. 
So if you're ready to go, if you're ready to rock and roll, give me a like, give me a heart, give me something to let me know that you're there, all right? Because I looked at this block, and I'm like, oh man, oh man, that's what I said when I looked at this block. So I need a little help from you all. So you can give me a like, give me a high five, give me a fist bump, I'll give you the same fist bump, high five. There we go. Love it, team. I see them coming across. Love it. Here we go. Our first push, 30 second jump spot. And remember, you want to set an intensity that you can maintain here for the full 30 seconds and maintain base. Three, two, one, let's roll. Come on. Remember, option cap rate set a jump. Come on. Exhale as you drive up. 15 seconds, soft landing, right to the next rep. Come on, you got this. In three, two, let's jog in place. Let's jog in place, team. Just a light jog, we're moving, catching your breath. So just like on the tread biker strider, we're gonna fight the urge to drop the low base. Let's fight here to maintain this base effort. 10 seconds in our next push, alternate pop squats. Here we go. We hit it in three, two, let's push. Remember, rotation comes from the hips. Option, just step to the side. Come on. Uncomfortable effort. Come on. 15. Notice how you hear me breathing? You should be doing the same. Breathe through it. Just like you're on that tread, Biker Strider. Three, two, base. Jumping jack. Now, as opposed to previous workouts, this jumping jack is light. Option, one leg at a time. But here, this is like a base. This is a light jumping jack, not a higher intensity jumping jack. Our next push, 10 seconds, is speed skaters. Breathe, three, two, speed skaters, come on. Stability. Try not to rotate chest and shoulders. The step isn't big. Your focus is stability and maintaining shoulders. 15. Come on. Work through uncomfortable. Option step and knee drop. And three, two, base, reverse lunges. So again, set the anchors first, and control your breathing as we continue to move. Option, reduce the range of motion. 15 seconds, and then we have an all out high knee. This is where you give it your all. High knee all out, three, two, let's go. We got 30 seconds to rest after this. Come on, earn it. Pump those arms. The more of your body that moves, the more calories you burn, the higher your heart rates go. Come on. 15. Come on, knees up. Move those arms. Three, two, 30 seconds. Recovery. You know my rule. Stay up. Into the nose. Out to the mouth. Stay tall. Start to resist that urge to hunch over. That was round one. We got two more rounds. Okay? We're starting to climb that mountain. I'm here with you, team. Let's keep fighting. We stop when we're done. Jump squat push. Three, two. Let's push, jump squat. Now remember, a pace that you can maintain. You don't wanna go balls to the wall at the beginning and have to stop in the second half. 15, so this should be a nice uncomfortable pace that you can maintain.
Come on. Three, two, let's base. Jog in place. Okay? Nice good jog in place. Light. You keep them moving. Just like tread bike or strider. Control your breathing here. Don't let it control you. 15 seconds. Control the effort. All right, let's get set. Next push team, alternate pop squat. Three, two, alternate pop squat, let's go. Remember, rotation from the hips. Guess what? We're over halfway to this last 10 minute block, 15. So when we get halfway, you're committed. There's no turn around. Now, we're going downhill. Three, two, base jumping jack. Remember, this is a light jumping jack, not high intensity jumping jack. Your option, one leg at a time. If you need an option, take it. But your goal is to keep moving, 15. Yes, come on. All right. We're going back to push, please, Gator. Three, two, let's push. Boom. Stability, stay tall. Try not to rotate with the chest and shoulders. 15. Reverse lunge in three, two, one. Set the anchors and then lunge. Again, challenging but doable. Stay tall, get your breath under you as we work. 15 seconds and we go all out. High knee. Here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one, all out high knee, come on. Knees up, chest up, move those arms. Come on, 15. Get your whole body moving, arms and legs, come on. Three, two, one. All right, come on. Stay with me, team. Yes, you can. We got one more round of all that, okay? Don't talk yourself out of the work. Just do the work. You're gonna be better on the other side. I guarantee it. Your body can do it. It may seem impossible, but your body has it. Let's tap into that team. Three, two, push up squat, come on. Final round. You came this far, don't you dare turn around now, come on. You work too hard to quit. Come on, let's finish. 15. Three, two, let's run in place. Jog in place, nice easy jog. And now bring the knees up high. You got a little motion in the arms. Control the breathing here, come on. Breathe as we work. Come on, yes, you can, come on. There we go. All right, we're gonna work team. Pop squat, three, two, one. Come on, rotation from the hips. Come on, 15. Yes, come on, 
Fight through it. Three, two, jumping jack. Light jumping jack. I know the legs are burning. So if you need that option, do it. Even if it's for about five seconds, you go right back. That's okay. Keep moving. Come on. You got this team. All right. Get ready for that next push. Speed skater. Three, two, let's push. Come on. Yes. We got 15. Here we go, come on. Base reverse lunge, three, two, one. Set position, reverse lunges. Now, Orange Theory told us a lot. They said, this is 10 minutes. This is gonna work out to be an 11 and a half, but that's okay. We'll give Orange Theory the mulligan because you know what? That extra 90 seconds is making us 90 seconds better. 90 seconds closer to our goals. So we're gonna crush the team. In three, two, all out high knee, last 30, come on. Come on, come on team, don't stop, don't stop. Come on, 15, plus nine if you have it. In three, two, one. Hello, hello, O-M-G. You know what? All done with the smile team. Thumbs up, fist pump, high five. Amazing job team. Now again, you know my rule. Stay up, stay up as we recover, okay? Deep breaths, in the nose, out the mouth, okay? If you have a towel, you're gonna need the towel off and for the stretch. If you don't have a towel, just need to grab one real quick, okay? We're gonna take a few moments before we hit the floor. We wanna take a few moments if we're standing and going to the floor, changing positions up and down. We want to take a few moments to get our breath and to let our heart rates come down, okay? Because we don't want to risk that post-exercise high flow tension where your body's blood pressure gets really low after exercising when your blood vessels are open and going from standing to seated. So whenever we do that, team, if we're coming off a higher intensity effort, stay tall, catch your breath a little bit in that same position before switching that position, okay? That's why we're taking a second before we start to stretch, all right? Awesome job, team. Amazing, amazing job today. Whether you're doing it live, whether you're doing it later, I'm proud of you for finishing that effort, okay? Hopefully you have that towel. If you don't have a towel, that's okay, all right? We're gonna go hamstring stretch, lying on your back with the towel. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna lay down on our backs, we're gonna take the towel, bring it around one foot, and we're gonna to pull toward the chest, we're gonna to pull to the left, and pull to the right, each leg, okay? So we'll be about a minute, each leg, all right? So let's lay back, three, two, one, let's pull to center, for this first leg. You're pulling to mild discomfort, not pain, okay? Now team, we're gonna take this stretch to the right in three, two, and one. So take that stretch to the right. Keep those deep breaths going into the nose, out to the mouth. 10 more seconds and then we take it left. In three, 
two. Let's take it to the left. I'm on my left leg, so I'm getting this in the inner part of my thigh. And maybe on the opposite leg. Okay, so we're getting it on the outer part of the thigh. In three, two, and time. Grab that towel, wrap it around the other foot, and we're going to take it, pull it toward the center, toward the chest. In three, two, center. this right in the back of the leg, back of the hamstrings. Again, we want these flexibility blocks, okay, to reduce the risk of injury, injury and improve our flexibility and performance. Three, two, let's take it to the left. Keep those deep breaths going. And we're going to take it to the right in three, two, let's take it to the right. I'm tighter in this leg. We all have sides that may be tighter than the other side. My right leg is tighter than my left. I got the shakes going a little bit here. That's okay. Three, two, and time. Let's have a seat. Sit up tall on your butt. Next, we're gonna have a calf stretch. So what you're gonna do, so tall, get the towel around one of your feet, and then you're gonna gently, all right, pull up off the floor with that leg, shoulders back, and then flex your toes toward your body. You should get this stretch right in the calf. Let's hold here for 20 seconds. Remember, that leg is off the floor slightly, and then your toes are flexed toward your body to get right in the back of that calf. 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. Switch. Opposite side and three, two, and one. Bring the legs slightly off the floor. Flex the toes toward your body. Get that stretch right in the calf. Ten more seconds, team. And still control your breathing. In three, two, time. Here we go. All right, we're gonna get to a hurdler stretch. So step tall. Okay, one leg straight, the other bent. The foot of the bent leg pressed against the inside of the thigh of the straight leg. Let's reach the towel behind the foot of that straight leg and gently pull toward your body. All right, you can lean forward slightly, but try not to round your shoulders here. Get right in the back of the leg. Hamstring and a little bit of calf here. Deep breaths to relax. Three, two, let's switch sides. 20 seconds, three, two, and one. So remember, try not to round your shoulders, shoulders back and lean forward slightly, but not to the point where you round your shoulders. Gently pull with that towel toward your body and then a slide forward lean without rounding. And three, two, Time, final stretch is the hamstring. This time, both legs are straight. Towel around both feet, okay? And then let's gently pull back, three, two, one. 20 seconds here. You can lean forward slightly, but again, not to the point where your shoulders round and you punch your neck, all right? Keep tension in that shoulder anchor. 10 more seconds. Those shoulders engage here. Three, two, time. And ladies and gentlemen, that concludes your workout. Amazing, amazing job, team. Let me tell you what, that workout was a monster, all right? Lower body and cardio. Awesome job, team. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed that workout. Amazing job, team. Remember, if you have any questions, comments, whatever, you can post them. Uh, after I end this video, and this will be on our Facebook page, and it will be on the YouTube channel within the hour. Again, awesome job, all right? Keep your eyes and ears open. We're starting to get closer to where we can reunite inside the studio. But guess what? 
even when we come back to the studio, these OTF at home workouts will remain, team. So these OTF at home workouts and our YouTube channel will be here to stay even when we reopen the studio. Awesome, awesome job, team. Coach Katie will be here with you tomorrow. Remember, stay at school, don't do drugs, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Drive sober, get pulled over, stay alive, no text and drive, click it or ticket, exit protection, only you can invent wildfires. Wakanda forever. Be a thinker, not a stinker, and don't get arrested. And may the force be with you and live long and prosper. Now may the odds be forever, forever in your favor. All right? Now, don't run with scissors. That's not safe. You'll poke an eye out, make like a tree. Please get out of here. Fist pump, high five, but please stay six feet away from me. And please, 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 please wash your hands and don't drink Clorox. Get out of here, you crazy kid.